Virgo, it is time for your mid-April to May reading of 2019, which is this current year. Congrats. This is going to be a Thunderdome, so this is for you and the person you're dealing with. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this doesn't resonate with you, no worries. If it doesn't, no worries. So... If it I, doesn't, no worries, and if it doesn't, no worries. I know, like, I'm such a great... Same thing twice. I did, but it's like... That's right at the beginning, restart it. No, I'm already here. <laughs> Is that your phone? Yeah. Huh. I'm not used to its noises. I've had it on vibrate for like eight months straight. Right. I that even more. Alright, group one, we're starting with you. My husband is, of course, in the background. Means support. Two friends have birthdays. So oh. You, know, you, you nudged me through work with friends and that just came up. That's the most recent one. I did that, like, last night. While you were still in. Huh? Well, currently, I'm making a little noise that sounds like normal school. That's one. All right. All right. Group one. We got the Empress Reverse yeah. in situation. The Hermit. Oof. That's your card right there. Uh, the Two of Pentacles reverse in the fears as well, so rejections for you. The Moon reverse could be a Cancer or a Pisces right here. Justice reverse. Jesus, you got a lot of fucking like. Aw. I love my kits. She just sits in her little box and sits because she fits. Yeah! Aww. Yes. But yeah, justice reverse in the obstacles and challenges against you and the full in the beginning as well as the ending. The catalyst is the final result and the beginning theme is Ten of Swords reverse. Getting out of that energy of feeling like you've been stabbed. Not just in the back, in the face, in the neck, just everywhere. Just everything's getting stabbed. It's just like torture. And you only left out in the cold and wanting to come back in, right? I have to say, Virgo. As a daughter of a Virgo woman, you guys know how to, like, throw a fucking fit sometimes. But you're really good at, like, hiding it. Like, my mother always hid it until, like, Wednesday at 3.45 p.m. Right before, like, right before General Hospital would come off of the television. She'd have a total fucking breakdown every Wednesday at that time. For tw 23 years straight now she's moved to thursday so she's improved some so anyway group one <laughs> empress someone does not feel like being all um nurturing kind being in their element of being loving holding all of their emotions to themselves because they want happiness someone's restricting themselves because they want to be happy Backing up on the letters, he's here. Yes, he is, my little furry girl. Yes. Come here. Oh, just rub your face on that cardboard then. Mine's not good enough. Yes, but yeah, someone's like, they want to be happy, but unfortunately it's like they can't express themselves or something underneath is the moon reverse which is like pisces cancer and you can see the strings in this deck like the moon is playing with their emotions or their emotions are having them stringed up like a puppet but someone is getting out of that energy they're seeing it for what it is and they don't want to be a puppet anymore please don't fall to the floor again that'd be very very unfortunate Oh, okay. What is, can you tell me about the moon reverse? Okay. Oh, double whammy. Look at that. The moon reverse. Someone's definitely coming out of illusions. Um, someone realized their emotions have kept them as puppets, and they're coming out of that shit. For real, for real. Definitely secrets coming to the circus about secrets. Then we got Virgo's card, the Hermit. They're in hiding, you know. Trying to keep themselves not wanting to see the light of day. Either because they're trying to get away from someone who manipulated them mentally. And that's why they look tortured a little bit in this one. Or they were the ones doing it. 
one of the two. You might want somebody who is too scared to face the day for what they've done. That's what I feel like. At first, like, they were a master of manipulation, and now they're just hiding in a little cave. But then, what's going against your group one, which is the obstacle and challenge is coming against you. It's your karma cards. Look at all of these major arcana. Because there's a lot, group one. Someone is having a judgment call about some injustice. Like, something being resurrected and that's not the right thing. It's a good idea. It's just bad karma. And that's what's going against you. Oops. Someone's trying to get their emotions back in balance. Fear and rejection when it comes to looking at your options and weighing them correctly. Right? Two of pentacles reversed. You're not able to do that. And that's a fear. Do this one. But that's also ju justice as well with the Libra. It's like... Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra group one who is not being cool. And that's the judgment call. Or this Libra is the one trying to make the judgment call. Where it could be like legal issues, but it's like you don't know how to weigh anything out when it comes to this justice. Then we got the fold down here. the callus as well as the final result. Taking a leap of faith. Going on an adventure. Oh my sweet... Baby Jesus. I thought you were gonna say sweet baby <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh! The lover's card. Going on an adventure to find new love, I feel like. Possibly Gemini right there, right? Very, very interesting. And then for the ending theme for you, group one, is Coming to some sort of choice on what world to choose in order to get yourself out of this energy of feeling like you've been stabbed everywhere, endlessly. This betrayal that won't... You go back there. You get off your head, right? Oh, yeah, that's mine, for sure. That's from their, one of their latest albums when it came out. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Right. Okay. So. Mm. You're wanting to gain balance back. Once again, possibly dealing with Libra. So you could be dealing with Libra. And trying to establish that forever after home right here. It's another 10. Actually, you have. Four tens, two for justice, one for the ten of pentacles, another for the ten of um cups. Actually, five because the ten of swords is right here too. You got a lot of tens. A lot of completions for you, group one. And you, there is definitely a need for communication, possibly with Aquarius, right? Get your balance, get your home settled up, and then communicate, which is what I'm feeling for you. So let's move on to group two. You okay? Yeah. All right, group two. Let's see what's going on with you. What is your side say? Definitely a queen of wands, uh, swords here, being um hypercritical, 
inconsiderate, a scorned woman at that. See, I always worry with these, uh, like my parents are going to break them just because my mother's a Virgo, but I can't see her doing that. That means getting a whole new fucking house. She's not going to want to keep that house. She'll just let my dad keep it so she doesn't have to deal with him. That's my mother. Uh, Page of Wands. Uh, <laughs> Leah said... Mr. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, someone immature and impulsive. Three of Swords reverse in the wants and wishes. Queen of Swords in the fear and rejection. She's reversed. There she is again. Six of Cups in the situation. The star reverse in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. The beginning as well as the final result. Queen of Sword, Queen of Wands, reverse, right? That nasty attitude. Are you good now, kids? You got something to do? The High Priestess is the beginning theme. Keeping secrets. Only letting uh, what needs to be known, known, and not saying anything else. Especially if it comes to a bad relationship, right? Something definitely negative between two people. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Lincoln Park hybrid theory. <gasps> I want it. I want to put it on my phone. But I mean, yeah, you're welcome to use it. Fuck yeah. I'm totally putting that shit. I love hybrid theory. Oh my god, it was like one of my favorite CDs. Other than Metrella. Or Meteora. Or whatever the fuck that was pronounced at. My husband I mean, is... I got Lil Wayne the block is hard in here. Ooh. Oh my god, we're literally sitting here going through like... Shit that only us as kids know, like old, old CDs. Really old CDs. Like yes. super old. Like Some of them I'm laughing at though, because I'm like Space Jam soundtrack, really? Old. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, Little Bow Wow or whatever his name is? Yeah. Very first album. Little Bow Wow, when he was like 10 years old. I mean, this one right here was Lil Wayne when he was like 10 years old, though. Damn. Alright, let's continue on with this reading because I'm getting distracted. Alright. So, group two, you got the page of one. Someone impulsively just, uh, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to say this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to travel. Watch that snack attack. We got, they're leaving in order to get a clear mind. Or clear their mind, anyway. Or they're trying to, like, just. He's going to Dude, like, my cards go everywhere. Okay. I made a game for the kitten without even knowing it. She's hiding in the box and attacking the toy. Okay. With this six of cups down here, in the situation, you're looking back at memories where I feel like love was new for you. The ace of cups right here, right? And it feels like you were fighting over it, fighting, guarding, like, putting up a battle against those that were coming against you. And it feels like it was for nothing, almost, with this four cups right here. It feels like I did all of this for not a damn thing. I'm gone, right? We got the three of swords reversed, or someone, like, wants to recover from a heartbreak that basically just pile drive them into the ground. This is, like, heartbroken. Heartbreak really fucked me up, and it's going to take me a while to recover in this deck, right? Because all decks read differently. And it's like someone was really torn apart by this. Maybe that's what the fear of the Queen of Swords is, because like she's standing behind this Three of Swords reverse. That's so kind of like, mm, that's very much dangerous. Especially with air signs, because air signs are pretty cutthroat. I'm not looking at all that. There we go. Yeah. And someone feels like they wasted their fucking time. Because they fought so hard for it and it just didn't do anything. Look, I got Ray J, the CD everybody bought. Oh, that's Randy's brother. Ah. <laughs> then we have the star. But it's reversed, so there's a lack of communication. And like. It's like someone doesn't want to communicate because they're arrogant. 
or they don't want to try because they feel like they have a right to be arrogant. Ooh, there's the rest of it. Possibly Tor possibly Virgo. With pursed lips like they're freaking Taurus, like they can do the whole like filtering thing. The picture filters on Instagram. It's like they got all that up and their personal lips like but it's like, you know, they're not communicating because they're too busy focused on themselves. Then we got the Queen of Swords. And the fears of rejection, which is like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The person's a lover score. They are hypercritical. They are mean. They are inconsiderate. They're being quick to um, jump on people. And that's because they lost the war after winning a battle. They played head games and then like... Now they're playing fuck fuck games, because if you play head games, you get fuck fuck games. And if you're going to play games, you win the prize. That's usually how it goes. Yeah, and then, <laughs> then we have the Queen of Wands right here at first, which is like bitch mode, right? She's a liar. She's not telling you anything. She's being unfair. She's also possibly an enemy against you, an enemy in your house. Someone was being liar. And just writing in, having people come up against you almost. Ending theme is... Keeping your guard up. And protecting your secrets. A group two. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I, 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 I think you're in this position where, like, you'd rather just go to get your head straight than try to stick around with this. Yeah, try to fix yourself. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude to you. I just... Well, I need to, like, quit interrupting your videos. I know, but, I like... like, oh, I found another one. Yeah, I found another one, and you're trying to record. I know, That's it's... not cool. Well... I know, but it's like, you're looking at so much stuff that's cool, and I need a break anyway. It's almost like looking through a photo album, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I forgot I didn't <laughs> So this is like self-betrayal or self-sabotage, right? Which is kind of like, I hate to say it, but it's almost like, someone almost did it to themselves. That kind of vibration, right? What's the second card? Ah, keeping your cards to your chest and all of this. Keeping everything that you're dealing with yourself. Yeah, that sounds like an error kind of thing to do. I swear to God, like, my parents are in this. I'm going to be so upset. Not like I don't want them divorced, but it's just kind of like, dude, you're like, been together so many years, 34 years. And... You are at a crossroads to surrender something. Yield and figure it out. Group two. But yeah, like, you definitely are just like... I am not even going to bother with this because this isn't helping me. Like, someone's afraid that this... Queen of Swords is just, mm, yeah. But that is your reading, Virgos, and those who follow with. Thank you for watching my video. And if you want a personal reading, just hit me up in my email below. I will see you guys later, and you have a good one. Bye-bye.